okay, life in a, an ocean rowing boat. So I've done five hours of rowing this morning, so break. Um, I'm just my boat up a bit. I don't know if I should be showing you this, but it is. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's nice and tidy in here now. Fresh water and um, wash as well. As a little kid, I had an inch of water, warm water, in my pail. So um, that little inch of water went a long way. It cleaned me, cleaned my solar panels. For my life again. Oh, I just missed that one. Big thunderstorm over there. I just managed to outrun it. So at the moment we have got 3.7 knots of wind, um, and I'm going at 1.2 knots. So and just make sure we're going the right direction. <laughs> We've got wheels. It's just over there. He's huge! Ah, how beautiful! Oh my god! Oh, it's Christmas Eve. 25th of December and I got some lovely stuff in my, my food parcel today and um, my kids made some great cards, a bottle of monkey shoulder, some, some shortbread, yeah, so I've actually had a really good day, um, feels like, you know, the, 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 um, I've got the wind at my back now and I've managed to go on auto hell a lot today and I got a good solid two hour sleep which had just come off. Morning, box of tea. Um, this tea's really good. Quite a lot of miles. It's pretty early this morning, so just don't forget a lot of big miles in today again. Get some surfing in, but because breakfast time, kind of slept in this morning. <laughs> a bit notorious for that just now. Um, slept in till gosh, nine o'clock. I was going to get up at eight. Um, but hey, who cares? I only go up by eight. <laughs> These winds are just, um, they're really playing about with me now. I now have a swell from the north and winds from the south. So, yeah, today I think it's going to be an un another interesting day. And then tomorrow is the the beautiful 10 and I am hoping that we're going to start getting some favourable winds because I could really do this now I'm starting to get a bit scunnered and it's taken me forever to get to the halfway point and do you know what if we had favourable winds I'd pretty much be halfway across this ocean by now but I guess that's that's weather that's oceans for you um, they are messing me about big time but hey, I'm going to have my breakfast which is disgusting scrambled egg, potato and mixed pepper but do you know what, I'm just going to eat it because it gives me some fun, 900 calories and I'm just going to absolutely chuck as much <laughs> HP sauce on it as I possibly can in the palate to make it more palatable. So, um, so yeah, here's to 27 days on this crazy ocean. Um, <laughs> still loving it. <laughs> Don't know why, but I am. I'm, st I'm still loving um, being out here, even though it's really starting to um, to test my limits to the to the absolute maximum. I found a chocolate orange 
from my base sister and one of my ration bags that I just opened this morning. So um, I'm just going to have a bit of that after I've had my breakfast. Um, what a beautiful morning. Um, we've got good north northeast winds, which is going to keep pushing me south, which is what I need. So potentially we've got some tricky weather coming up in the next few days. So um, I'm going to keep pushing southwest. Yeah, back in the north. Last night we had a very starry sky, which is the first in a while. The cloud cover for the last few days is pretty intense with um, threatening thunderstorms. I've seen quite a few big bolts to either side of me, but thankfully none have hit me again. Because <laughs> the first one was terrifying, it was already said, so um, I don't mind when they run alongside me, it's when they actually pass over me. It's, it's pretty scary. But um, look at that. Another sunrise. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Oh my god. Oh. Well, I can see it's fins. <laughs> <laughs> from Big Sis. Love you. Sending it every day. Hi, day 34 and that's me pretty much in the middle of the Atlantic. It's a beautiful day. Very little wind again. So um, I've got something pretty special to do now and I'm going to do it now because it's such a good day. But I've got um, these stones to put in the water, the drop them and these are just going to sink into the abyss. Morning! Day 57. I, I got hit by a flying fish <laughs> and I found the culprit who is here. I found him on the boat. This thing's absolutely amazing. Look at his wings. I'll be under 400 miles to Antigua. Next weekend, at the very latest, if these winds continue, which they are forecast to be really consistent. This morning, day 58, we've got 107 nautical miles to do. Winds are great, we're moving along pretty quickly. So, yeah, a couple of more days max, and we're going to be there. I totally love this, it's, it's been. It's just, it's challenged me to be on um, just all the different kind of conditions I've experienced. I, I mean, yesterday morning was just another classic example of it just blew up and it just, the wind and the swell <laughs> got a bit serious. I can laugh now, but it got, it was pretty serious. Just the size and speed of everything was just... Wow, just incredible. So I can see Antigua is right over there. Oh boy, I am way, 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 way chuffed with myself. Yes, finally, finally, I've crossed the Atlantic. <laughs> oh God, the Louis Vuitton boat. The fastest solo female within our race, so that's a new race record, so yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Hip hip! 